everybody. <laughs> you're here at Elevated Living with Z, and I am Z. And um, if you're new here, I'd like to say welcome. I love having you here. Here at Elevated Living with Z, we are about all things that elevate your life experience right now, whether that's a healing session, a Reiki session, a channeling session, a card reading, um, something that I just decided to talk about or teach you guys or whatever the case is. So that's what we are all about here at this channel today. So, well, and if you're returning, <laughs> one of my lovelies, you guys know I absolutely adore you. And it was just one, two, three of us here. We did great. And now there's five, six, seven hundred sometimes. And I just like to thank you. I love you all. I'm sending you guys all a huge hug. Um, and I thank you guys for just hitting that like button all the time, for hitting the subscribe button. And that's just the housekeeping. Please do it if you like stuff like this. Not just on me, but all your favorite YouTubers, because it helps um, us get on the algorithm, you know? That's um, one thing. And another thing, guys. Um, so this video um, is going to be... Well, I had came in thinking that today I was going to do um, a healing sesh, a, a Reiki infused or a traditional style Reiki um, healing session for um, like, you know, accepting what you have to accept when you don't feel like it. I hadn't been even figured out what to even title it or call it. So that's why I haven't given it a name. But when I came in here to meditate and get the space ready for it, it turned more into a reading, a love reading and an energy reading for those of us that are struggling to let go of things that we have to let go of so that our lives can get better. And um, a lot of us are dragging a lot of weight. So what I'm going to do in this session, so when I walked in here, these cards called my name. That's why I have them. And I realized that this is for not just me, but a lot of us are struggling with cutting cords to things that don't serve us, that lower our vibration, that aren't healthy for us and such. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you guys what's happening in this, in this session. You know, I'm going to read the cards. I'm going to do maybe a healing gong. I'm going to do maybe um, a little bit of, of you know, um, sage um, right before we get started um, with the second part of it. And I'm also going to use my hands to hold um, Reiki energy too and, and my hands and my healing light to find any cords that tie us down to whatever it is that holds us back from being our best selves. At first I thought, you know, this is not just about relationships like husband and wife, boyfriend and girlfriend, girlfriend and girlfriend, boyfriend and boyfriend. This is also about like blood ties. You know, a lot of us are stuck in these karmic relationships with with family members, with friends, best friends, and things like that. We need to cut ties, not because we don't love them or anything like that, but because we have to love ourselves more. So whatever I name this video, we'll figure out when you guys actually see it. But without any um, further ado, I've done housekeeping. I think we're good, and I think we're ready to get started. You guys know what this video is about to be about, so let's get right to it. The first um, deck that called my name was this one but as I was grabbing my stuff I decided to go with this one so the whispers of love deck and it's the oracle cards for attracting more love into your life and who couldn't use that so when I did some shuffling and everything came out these are the cards that we got so I'm going to give you guys my mini reading based on what came out before we get started with just a little healing here and um, this is crazy because, oh my gosh. So right now, the first card that came out, it says rest and relaxation is essential. We all have a fundamental need to take a break. So for those of us that are so committed to these soul ties and are afraid to let go, 
you know, this is for you because it's okay to take a break. It doesn't mean it's over forever. It could mean that it's over for now. It's over for a moment. It needs to be over for the time that it is so that you and the person or you and the situation, you and the thing you're bonded to can recover from whatever negative energies is what's bringing the chaos and, and, and you know, over and over again. Okay. The second one that came through was treasure your loved ones. You know, um, it is important to love others deeply. So I feel like when this came in, the energy that mm, sizzled through my brain, it says, you know, and Archangel Michael is right here right now telling me it's him um, it's saying that's why it sizzled through my brain. Um, I got you. Um, treasure treasure your loved ones because it's important it's important to love others deeply it, these relationships that we have that we are stuck in these situations that we have that we've been stuck in that we feel like we need to keep in for whatever reason it is that are lowering our vibration or holding us down actually stop us from loving the people that we need to be loving properly and deeply because we are stuck in patterns of fear we are stuck in patterns of negativity we are stuck in patterns of anger so um for example um, as I'm going through something very, very relative to what these cards have to hold, um, you know, I realized that my attitude had been very crappy because I was focusing so much energy on the people, the person I need to let go of. And I wasn't able to give the children, the friends around me, the animals I have. I mean, I still love them, of course, but the, the right kind of intimacy and connection, my fear, my anger. All that got in the way. So that is really important is that we are so stuck in these patterns of negativity because of these people that we're not allowing ourselves to be in a better, you know, place with those people that we need to be in a better place with. And that is something we need to really um, realize. And then. <laughs> so. The reason why we are having to let go of this and we are having to change our attitude and raise our vibration is because the union of hearts, a love connection that defies explanation. And if you notice, this is like, you know, I, I can't even describe to you the way I see the pictures, like the enmeshment of, of earth and life and growth and everything that can be wrapped up into a loving, honest, caring situation or relationship or commitment. And we are blocking ourselves and we need to stop because that is what we are blocking ourselves from. And if we just let go of this mediocre thing that we've been dragging along with us this whole time, we are eligible, we are awaiting, we are next up for that magical love that we've been craving, that we've been needing, that we've been desiring our whole lives. It's for us. Okay, so now, Deirdre Little Deck, the Island Time Wellness Love Oracle Cards, Tarot Deck, Clarifications, and Compliment Readings. So this is like a one of those goes with. So to show you how this goes with, when I threw them, when I shuffled, this is what came out. The hearts, the hand of cards card, the mirror card, and the healthy choices card. And this was so on point for what we just said with the other ones when it talks about clarification. So really, we're at this point right now where we need to take the risk. It says, hand of cards. Take a chance, a risk. Right now it's the time, it says being strategic, options, not showing a hand, gambling. Right now is not the time to bear all to these people that don't mean anything to you. It's time to take a risk, cut the ties, do your thing, feel good about what you're doing, take those chances and not, you don't have to, for me, I felt so much like you don't have to really bear all to those that don't deserve you to bear all for them. And then all your thoughts, all of your energy, all of your commitment or whatever that bear all is. And, um, you know, like being strategic, like getting ready for the next part of your life, being smart about what you're doing, you know? 
And then mirror. So, uh, you know, mirror, mirroring each other, self-image, relationships reflect our wounds and introspection. So right now we need to understand that what we are dealing with is just that. It's a mirror. It was already the worst of us that we've been dealing with our whole life. We are not that anymore. We don't deserve to be in mirrored relationships because most of us that are watching this, most of us that are feeling this, we've grown beyond that. We've grown beyond that point of needing to be mirrored, you know, and show us what we're doing. I mean, we're never grown beyond that. Like we're always going to grow and learn and expand. But at this point of our lives, what we've learned from this relationships that we're trying to dump or the situations that we're trying to let go of is that is that we've already learned what we needed to see. And it's time for the next phase for the next set of ideas and, um, you know, push forwards, you know, mirrored relationships that are going to take us to another level is the way that I saw it. And more importantly, it's time for us to make healthy choices, uh, making healthy choices in love and in life, self-love, self-care, being happier. Oh, sorry guys. I hope you guys didn't hear that pop pop. That's me hitting the mic. I'm not used to having a mic and I'm like hitting my heart. I'm all about it. <laughs> this is exactly what I'm saying is self-care, self-love. It is time to change the way that we see things. It's not about us helping others. We will always help others by raising our own vibration to the next level. And we cannot take anyone higher than where we've gone. So right now is that time to stop dragging the carry, dragging the heavy weight and start to carry our own loads, start to deal with our own problems, start to raise our own vibration, start to change who we are as human beings, one little feeling at a time, you know, one little emotion at a time. It's time to be there for ourselves. And we can't do that if we're dragging negative energy with us or negative people or heavy weight. So that said, that is it for the reading. Okay. So I, I know that in the next part of the video, I'm going to light some sage, which you guys can't smell and you guys don't need to hear. So um, I'm not worried about that, but, um, and you guys will not be able to, I'm going to go into a channeled state before I turn the camera back on so that I make sure that the healing is pure and true. And what I'm going to do in the next part is do the Reiki symbols to bring in the energy. I'm going to clear the space, make sure we have all that healing energy here. I'm going to ask all the angels to help us out and come in and through us, um, th in and through me to help us. I'm going to ask any celestial bodies that want to help really. Um, and then I'm going to clear, I'm going to go through the energetic body and the physical body as I feel and see it for you guys to cut and pull any cords and that's it. Then I'm going to send love and light to the whole situation and I'm going to cut us off. Should take about three to four minutes. Sounds longer than it will take. Um, but that's about it. And I'll start it off with Sage. Um, as I'm getting into my channeled stage, uh, channeled state i'm going to really want to smell the sage so <laughs> god i was like i'm in the mode already Perfect. Oh my God. So you guys, I love you so much. I will not be, um, I keep hitting the mic. I'm so sorry, guys. I will not be talking to you guys anymore after this, but you'll see me and I'll cut out and then, so mm, stay safe, warm, healthy, happy, and abundant until the next time I see you. See you on the other side.